Next one is uh, measurement of BSWR. So using the microwave test bench. So for this purpose, we will be making use of two components which will be acting as the load. So this one is the um, matched termination, which is similar to your matched, uh, say Z0. It is similar to Z0 in your circuit. So this is for the microwave test bench. And uh, this is the movable shot, which will be having variable resistance. So this is a movable shot. Uh, it is not the detector, it is a mobile shot, it is not, not having any detection component. This one is actually a detector which is having a probe. So both are different, both are different. This is mobile shot, this is detector. So it will be having a diode inside and then it will be captured. So now what we have to do is, each of the nodes will be having some specific reflection component. So using that reflection component, what we can do is we can measure the BSWR. So how do we measure that? We start off with the source. We start generating the microwave signal. We pass it on through the microwave and we present the load at the other end. We present the load at the other end. So now I will not be replacing the load. I will just be considering this itself as the load. This itself as the load. So now since this is the load, will be having the reflections which will be coming from the load and those will be captured in this slotted wavelength. So there will be interaction of the voltages, Vmin, Vmax, everything in this slotted wavelength. So I will be measuring those things from the slotted wavelength. So for VSWR, incident and the reflected has to be taken into consideration. Therefore here I am assuming that I am pre presenting a load at the other end. So due to that there is a reflection happening. So incident and reflected will be interacting. So based on the load, there will be interactions happening at different different points. So now uh, what we do is, uh, we so once the load is connected, we'll be seeing some uh, signals which are, signal which is being presented over here. Since this is again a probe, right? Again we'll be seeing a square wave, which is nothing but again one kilohertz preset. So now we observe some voltage representations over here. Now how do I identify the VSWR value? So in order to identify that, we identify what is the Vmax value and what is the Vmin value when we connect it on the slotted wavelength. So in order to do that, what we do is, we can observe here on the uh, scope and we can uh, rotate this and identify what is the maximum value, what is the minimum value. So now what we do is, I will so rotate it slowly, I will uh, move it slowly and uh, identify where maximum value I will be getting. So here you can see that there is no change happening at this point. So that is, this is the maximum value what I am able to get. So this is Vmax value. So still if I continue what happens is there will be multiple interactions. So the Vmax, Vmin, Vmax, Vmin it will be repeating. So distance between one Vmax and the other Vmax is around uh, lambda by 2 and the distance between Vmax and Vmin is lambda by 4. So that those are the concepts. So when you just continue, you will be able to see these things in a repeated form. It will be in a repeated form. So what you do is, you stand at one position, you rotate it and try to identify one Vmax value. So this is giving me Vmax value. So you can note down the Vmax value. This is Vmax for this particular load. Then you rotate in the other direction or in the same direction and see what is the Vmin value. So this is the Vmin value. This is the V minimum. So this is V minimum. So this is V minimum because of this load. So once you have identified V max and V min, you can utilize it in the VSWR equation and I try to see what is the VSWR value for this. One and maximum will be infinity. 